Hello and welcome to this week in Campbell Basketball. I'm Chris Haymeyer and our women's basketball team off to another strong start this season. Our Bill Priestley has more. The Campbell women's basketball team is 5-2, and two, headed into exam week, which has set the foundation for what could be a great year. The Fighting Campbell's 5-2 and two mark is one game ahead of last year's 4-3 and three mark at this point through seven games. And so far this year has been a season of highlights. Summer Price picked up her 1,000th point as a Fighting Campbell earlier this year against UNCG on this free throw. She's also got a streak going right now, scoring in double figures in the last 14 games dating back to last year. Also with an impressive streak this year, Taya Bolden had five straight double-digit rebounding games before that was snapped against Western Carolina. One of the big surprises for this team this year has been the addition of a freshman class that has impacted this team immediately. Two Big South Freshman of the Week honors already for this team. Lauren McNamara-Clement and Ashlyn Hampton both took home the award earlier this year. Rounding out the rest of that freshman class are Kyra Davis, who averages five points and two rebounds per contest, Nani Carver, who had 15 points against William Peace University, and Michaela Coleman, who's had six points and two rebounds in the last two games. And along with those marks, if you're following last year's team that finished first in the country in total scoring defense, right now the Fighting Camels are tied for 12th in the country. But even more impressive, the last two teams they played against, one for 19 from behind the three-point arc. The Camels are number three in the country in three-point total team defense. Chris, back to you. Thank you, Bill. Our men's team split a pair of road games last week. The Camels went all the way down to DeLand, Florida to take on Stetson on Thursday. Marcus Burke and Shane Whitfield each had 20 points as Campbell cruised to an 85-78 victory. Campbell caravan to Greenville to take on East Carolina Monday night and bolted out to a double-digit lead. Campbell couldn't hold off a furious Pirate comeback and fell 69-66. to The Camels are now 3-3 three three against ECU in their last six meetings with the Pirates. Burke continued his fantastic play, leading Campbell with 21 points. Burke is now the leading scorer in the Big South Conference, averaging 19.6 points per game, and now leads the league in field goal percentage, knocking down 59% of his shots so far this season. No games for either of our teams this weekend, as both teams will be hitting the books. Finals week here at Campbell. Both teams, however, will be back in Gore Arena on December 14th. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris A. Meyer saying we'll talk to you next week on This Week in Campbell Basketball.